Why are there only nine nuclear powers in the world? The answer is simple, it's extremely difficult. The process of creating a nuclear weapon is like solving a puzzle with countless complex elements. The first step is of course raw material. At the core of every nuclear bomb or reactor is radioactive uranium, but just finding it isn't enough. To turn uranium into reactor fuel or plutonium for a bomb, you need to go through several complex stages. So raw material needs to be converted into a fuel. And for that you need the second element, technological capabilities. This aren't just factories, but sophisticated system capable working with uranium. To build such capabilities, you need the third and the fourth point, a high level of engineering and enormous amount of money, because building and maintaining such infrastructure isn't cheap. And finally, the fifth factor. Countries that already have nuclear weapons don't want any competitors. They actively work to prevent others from developing a bomb. An example? Sanctions against Iran for its nuclear program, the dismantling of Iraq's nuclear ambitions under Saddam Hussein, and the overthrow of Libya when it showed interest in nuclear technology. But North Korea, despite all the sanctions and pressure, managed to get its bomb. For Kim Jong-un, it's a matter of survival. To avoid a fate of Hussein or Gaddafi, he was willing to do anything. After all, without nuclear protection, it's easy to become a target for invasion and overthrow by a major power.